Grade 8 Math, number 6.4c. It's going to be the last video on our functions, chapter 6. I'm going to show you how to draw a graph for a situation. In a graph, the x and y axis labels tell us what quantities are being compared. The slope, height, length of different sections of the graph describe how the quantities are related. If the function, that relationship rule for x and y, if it increases, decreases, or stays constant, we can show this on a graph. We can show a quick or slow change by the steepness of our slope of the line, right? So here we've got a graph right here. A babysitter slowly increased her business over three weeks. You can see that she's slowly getting more and more babysitting jobs. On the fourth week, against the rules of the parents of the child she was babysitting, she threw a party and furniture was damaged. Everyone in the neighborhood found out. This graph represents her babysitting business. So see what happens? She was going up and then it just dropped. She had no business. Nobody was asking her to babysit. So when we look at this graph, either one of these, why is there a scale for the horizontal for the weeks, for the horizontal x-axis, but there isn't one for the y? Well, the exact number of babysitting jobs was never mentioned. It mentioned over three weeks, so we could make week increments for the horizontal axis. But it didn't say how many actual jobs she got, just that it slowly increased. See? It slowly increased. And what would the graph look like if she never threw the party? Well, it probably would have continued to rise or level off, right? And are these graphs linear or nonlinear, proportional or nonproportional? Well, A, right here, the one that's slowly rising, that one's nonlinear. It curves. It was slowly rising. And it's nonproportional because it's not straight and it doesn't go through 0, 0. See? So it's nonlinear, nonproportional. And what about this one? Well, it's the same as A. It's nonlinear because it curved and then it dropped. And it's nonproportional because it's not straight and it didn't go through the origin, 0, 0. So it's nonlinear, nonproportional. Now let's look at this graph. Look at this strange looking graph right here. This one goes up and then there's a new y axis. Look at that. A graph can do that. This graph could show the babysitter move to a new neighborhood at week four. She didn't throw the party. Her business was increasing, but then her family moved. And she started her business again in the new neighborhood, and it started increasing. See? So that's what it could show. So there could be two y-axis. Isn't that something? So just remember that when the slope starts to rise to the right, it's a positive slope. When that line rises to the right like that, it's a positive slope. When it falls to the right like this, then it's a negative slope. Okay? And we can use that negative or positive number to help us draw the graph for the situation, couldn't we? Because we would know whether the line is going to go up or down, right? Okay, so we're going to continue on to the next chapter, and that's going to be chapter 7. We're going to talk about solving linear equations, okay? Sorry about that. I almost fell over a dog. So I'll see you in the next video, number 7.1a. Bye.